10 days of holiday traditions continue this morning with a look at the Hmong New Year. It's a celebration that happens in Hmong communities all across the nation, including right here in western Wisconsin. And we're so lucky to have Tony Yang joining us this morning to talk a little bit more about the Hmong New Year. So thanks for joining us, Tony. Sure. Thank you for having me. So, um, you know, Hmong New Year is a very important holiday for the Hmong community. And so, um, as of right now, uh, there are people that are celebrating Hmong New Year across the world. And so, you know, um, this celebration takes place uh, during, you know, the, the harvest season, you know, which is usually for um, like in late November to early December. And so, uh, this celebration uh, begins in Hmong household, mm -hmm. where uh, many Hmong families um, perform uh, various uh, rituals to thanks their ancestors and also you know uh, different uh, various household spirits and so uh, the Hmong New Year sort of begins with a in-house ritual called Hupli mm -hmm. which means that um, Hmong people will perform a uh, soul calling ritual to uh, call back all of their uh, wandering souls uh, to reunite with their, you know, body and ask for a blessing for the whole family for the new year. And, and you've brought in some, some different items that I, I'm assuming help out and help celebrate the Hmong New Year. So why don't you walk us through what we have here this morning? Sure. So, uh, you know, Hmong New Year celebrations, it's really where family gathers and uh, they make sticky rice cakes and, you know, they have all kinds of games and sports and fun activity. So what I brought today is uh, a few items that are related to Hmong New Year. So, for example, uh, during Hmong New Year, uh, people can play this instrument mm -hmm. called the Qeng. And this is the biggest instrument. So this instrument can be played during Hmong New Year, um, you know, to perform. Or this instrument can be played at Hmong funeral as well. Mm -hmm. And, and is it difficult to play or is it pretty easy to pick up? Um, this one is much more complicated to, uh, t to play. And so what I have is also a bamboo flute. Mm -hmm. And this is a flute. So it's made out of bamboo and it has uh, copper blades on it. Wow. So um, you usually play it, just place your mouth right there and then you got five finger holes right here. And through different uh, movement with the fingers, you make different sounds. And so this is a very popular um, uh, instrument as well. Do you do you like playing uh, this one a little bit better or, or the other? I like playing that one the better. Bigger, yeah, yeah, it's a little more, more of a challenge, yes, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> and then I also have the Jew's harp, which is a little instrument. And this is the case. And so you take out the uh, harp right here. And so basically you will place your lips right in here and then you, and then you flip that. Huh. And then you make sounds out of this uh, instrument. So this is called the Ya. In Hmong, uh, in in the Hmong language, it's amazing because it's so small. Like you, yes. you wouldn't expect it to, to yes, make a yes. goal sound like that. So uh, this is uh, a, a very good uh, instrument as well. And then what we have here is the two-string violin, and 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 it works basically like a like a violin. So you tune up here, and you have the two string right here. And basically, what you do is you just brush this, and through the finger movement, that's how you make the sound. Ah. So these are a few instruments that uh, Hmong people like to play during the Hmong New Year. And I also have a game. Uh, some popular games are like soccer, volleyball, yeah. but a, a, a much more traditional game is called top spin. Yeah. And this is a top. And so basically what you do is that you roll a string uh, through this, and then you will hold it like this, mm -hmm. and then you extend your hands like that and and so that the sticks go underneath and, and come out of your belly right here and so what you do is just you place it somewhere on the ground and you pull this and the string will twist the top and it will spin oh and that's so it's a spinning it's yes, like a spinning top yeah, yeah so it's a spinning top and people can play it for fun or people can play it f like for competitions um, uh, one of the most recognizable and much more popular game is called the ball toss. So you have a cloth ball like here or like this one right here and 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 so um, this is a very much traditional game and so what they do is that boys and girls will light up across each other mm -hmm. and they will throw a ball at each other just like that and so as people throw the ball 
people will start to talk, they'll get to know each other, they'll form new relationships and possibly lead to love or marriage. And oh. so that's how Hmong people celebrate Hmong New Year. It's a great way to, to get to know your neighbors, get yes. to know people, really yes. connect on a different level. I, it's just kind of like, you know, just playing a little game of catch. Yes, yes, that's it. And so um, I also brought along um, a, a neck piece here. Mm -hmm. And this is a female neck piece that they wear, like, you know, like if um, yep. the girls put on their clothing and then they have this neck piece on. And so I also uh, have a neck piece for the guy, which I'm wearing right here too. And, and, and so this is a three set neck piece that you just wore as a, you know, a decoration mm -hmm. to your outfits. And just like this guy does right here too, so. Um, and, and Tony, what's your favorite part of, of the Hmong New Year? Uh, my favorite part is uh, watching all the dancing and all the singings and all the performance. That's my favorite part. And I know we, we've had local celebrations in the past. Of course, the pandemic kind of put a wrench in that the past couple of years. But is there anything locally going on uh, this year at all? Yes. Yeah, so uh, this year, uh, because of COVID, we haven't had the Hmong New Year celebration for the last two years. But this year, December 31st, which is on a Friday of this year, we're going to have a little gathering at the Hmong Cultural Center mm -hmm. from uh, 6 to midnight. And so we're going to have uh, some um, activities, some dancing, some other things going on, just as a way to help Hmong people uh, welcome the new year. And so uh, back in uh, 2019, we also did a little one, but this one, it's going to be a little bit bigger one. So, uh, you know, the flies is out. I can send you that, that information. And Perfect. if people want to come and join us, you're welcome to. Yep, and we'll include that information on our website as well sure. so people can find it. But Tony, we really appreciate you coming in this morning, showing us some of these really awesome different instruments, talking a little bit more about the Hmong New Year. Uh, it, it's very fascinating. I'm excited to, to see how the community celebrates this year. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And happy Hmong New Year. Uh, happy Hmong New Year to yeah. you.